Vikings and the Browns in this video, man. Um, last week, J.J. McCarthy did look pretty solid for the Vikings. Had that one interception, but came back and made a few nice throws uh, and made up for that. The Browns. Did I watch the Browns last week? I don't remember what the Browns looked like last week. Uh, I'm getting my games, all, my teams all mixed up, man. I don't remember if I watched them, but uh, we're getting to them now. Vikings going with their second unit as well this afternoon. Ah, so no McCarthy. Oh, beautiful throw. Beautiful throw. Making the catch in front of Cameron Mitchell. So Minnesota with the ball on the brown side of the field, and that is a quick pitch. Oh, good running. Chase Williams, a safety who just got here this past week. They're going to allow the legal process to run its full course, but he is playing this afternoon. Wamu, up the gut, inside Bro, he's a tough runner. I like him. No question about it, Nathan. Third and short. Mullins operating out of the shotgun. Looks left, is pressured. Throws and connects with Nick Hughes, a tight end. Inside the 15 before he's wrapped up by Chase Williams. It was a game that was moved from a Saturday start to a Monday afternoon. Mullins looking on the left side. Oh my god, what a throw, man. Couple nice throws there from uh from Mullins. He is under center, or he's the center with DTR. Traded back this week from the Seahawks. Oh, that thing had some zip on it. Close to midfield, we'll call it the 48. JV on Cohen, undrafted rookie free agent out of Miami on the left side. DTR, quick hitter. That is Akins gets it inside. Dorian Thompson Robinson. At a UCLA. Two receivers to the right, and Pierre Strong remains in the backfield. Robinson gonna throw it. Good throw. And a tight window too. Wow. He's in? Wow. I thought he was going to be short. His all-time favorite player growing up is Josh Cruz. Certainly makes sense. One of the great special teams aces, actually, in NFL history. Third and four for the Vikings. Mullins is going to be pressured again. Gets rid of it, completes it to Powell. He's got the first down up to the 48. Blitzing again. Good job by the Vikings to pick yeah, up. Yeah, good protection by the offensive line. What? As Tony Brown went low. Brown's blitzing again. Good job by the Vikings to pick it up. That is Muse, and there is flag on the play. As Tony Brown went Bro. low. Diabate and Bush. Come on now with that flag. He's just trying to make a tackle, man, against a big dude. That's all he's trying to do. I understand the injury part of it, but like, it's football. Bro, <clears throat> look at that dog up there. A couple of blitzes as well. Second and three, quick pitch to the left side to Juan Wu, and he gets. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. I love this running back, bro. Nice work by Juan Wu. Bro, just bounces off tackles. Get this boy some playing time, man. Let's see if they can do the same against Minnesota. Regular season playing time. Jesus Louise. Isaiah Thomas, man, he grew some, you know, he put some height on. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're in trouble, buddy. That's going to be a safety, too. Is it not? That was not a safety? I guess the one-yard line makes sense. This afternoon, 
Evans. Oh. Throws and completes. That is Christian Jackson who caught the touchdown on their first drive, and he gets the ball into Brown's territory at the 40. Gaskins has a hole, gets it inside the 35 to 30, and it'll Brown. be another Minnesota first down. Third and six. Vikings have to get the ball down to the Browns eight. Mullins, pressure, steps up, and he gets dropped by Jeremiah Martin. Already good from 41. This one from 38 to extend the lead. And the kid's solid. Riker kicks it off. It'll be taken by Darden two yards deep, and he's going to return it. Yeah, I mean, you should always return the kicks. You always get past the 25, dude. I know you like it because that was a huge smile right there. Yeah, most definitely. All right, well, when you talk about your Oh, shit. I thought you were going to get hit from behind. Oh, my God. Another flag. Is that defensive? Oh, boy. Yep, you're done. Man, defensive line for the Browns getting some pressure. Causing some issues. <laughs> Come on, DTR. Let's see something. Yep, just check down. That, oh, damn. Put him on his... Oh, oh, my God. Yep, just check it down. Let your boy do something, man. He had a lot of space. That's sometimes the best option. Not the most flashy, but... Gets the job done. Gets the job done. Oh, my... Wow. snap yet he's already moved the ball five yards because of an illegal formation on the vikings for the second time today on special teams huntley comes out firing oh huntley okay yeah put your shoulder down boy let's go all right aditi thank you very much both those men injured on that final drive of the first half foreman trying to plow forward get stuck behind the line of scrimmage andre carter Browns have to get it to the Vikings 25. Huntley under center. Rolls left. Looks. Throws. Completes to Welch. Good play. Their second red zone appearance. Huntley play fake. Rolls. Woo! Second and goal from the 11. Huntley, quick hitter. Two oh, shoot. Oh my god! Look at Huntley! What the fud? Dwight McLaughlin. Out of Arkansas. Used to be an LSU DB until he transferred. Wow, freaking Huntley hunted him down. Yeah, he did. He caught it. He dropped a little bit too soon, but he caught the ball. Yeah, he he dropped it because he was wanting to celebrate. But you just gotta hold on to the ball, bro. Because not all refs will be so lenient. Honestly, as a DB, I'd be kind of mad that they caught it that touchdown. <laughs> I'd be arguing my case for sure. Cade York, former LSU kicker. Seeing a whole lot of NFL LSU players out there. Wow, that was beautiful. <clears throat> Huntley from the shotgun, pressured, throws, and it was behind Darden, his intended receiver, no flag on A.J. Green. Okay, but your body is still doing these ridiculous spots. What are you up to? Just trying to get faster oh. stronger every day. That's it. Okay, but how much are you squatting right now? Don't get cooked up by a quarterback. 
Yeah, 59. I'm about to say, don't be getting sauced up by a QB now. Jalen Darden, but he's been solid. 11 of 14 for 110 yards. He's number six. Keep an eye on him. It looks like he's coming, and he is. Oh my God. Yep. Boy came in. Came in hot. Matt Corral, Ole Miss. That's a safety. With less than two minutes to go and an injury on the field. Huntley steps up and it's Oh my god. He's still behind the receivers, bro. Of the day. And the Vikings are celebrating yet again. Yeah, I mean Vikings looking pretty good, dude. Um you know, when games, especially in the preseason, when games don't go like how it did not go the Browns way very much at all, like it did not look very good for them at all. Um and same for the Bengals, my team. Um See, when it comes to the preseason, they're not, you know, I tend to overlook the teams that perform poorly um, because it does not really matter. I think what matters more is the teams that, you know, like, like the Bears, you know, how they're looking pretty good in the preseason, how Caleb Williams is looking pretty good at Dunze, the whole offense, like, that says something. Uh, because the Bears are an up-and-coming team, you know, they're trying to rebuild. As for, like, the Bengals and the Browns, they've been good. So we kind of know what we're going to get from them. Um, we know that they're probably going to be pretty solid. Um, so, yeah, I kind of tend to overlook the good teams not having very good preseasons. Um, and, like, the Chiefs as well. Uh, you know, they don't perform very well in the preseason, and they win the Super Bowl. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, they're always contending, so I tend to overlook the good teams performing, performing poorly and kind of look more for the bad teams playing good, um, because that, that says more to me than, than anything, really, so, yeah, um, I hope y'all enjoyed, if you did, please drop a like, hit the subscribe button, I'll catch y'all in the next one.